Welcome to News Channel 20 Midday. I'm Alexandra Rayford. We have some new information about the massive fire that broke out in downtown Springfield. Officials say it took hours to put out. The Springfield Fire Department flocked to 413 and 415 East Adams Avenue to put out the downtown fire. And the third floor caused the third floor flyer, fire caused all the roofing, ceilings, and floors to collapse onto the first floor. The city will now begin tearing down that building at the 400 block of Adams Street due to the damage. And our Julia Razier joins us now live at the side of the fire with more details. Julia? Yeah, Alexandria, that's right. Crews and city officials are still out here trying to figure out what to do with the building. Now I'm going to step out of the frame so I can give you a look at what's happening right now. You can see those crews, like I said, are still out here. The debris is blanketing the sidewalk and parts of Adam Street and the top of the building is completely destroyed. We've been out here since 8 a.m. and since we've been out here, we've seen many different city officials and city departments come out here to assess that damage. Like I said, they're currently figuring out a plan to be able to tear down the building earlier today. They were using drones to look at the top of the building up there to see the build, see the damage that's occurred up there. The police mobile units is also here on scene as people are still assessing. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Julia Rosier. Back to you. Thank you, Julia. We'll bring you more information as the story continues to develop. And that building houses the Cat's Pajamas Cat Cafe. The owner says all nine cats were able to be removed safely. Cafe Moxo was also impacted by the fire. The owner is making an announcement on Facebook that it will be closed indefinitely. Moving Pillsbury Forward was also operating out of that building, and the group says it lost three tons worth of artifacts during the fire. The Pillsbury exhibit was housed in that same building. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.